with Arma and Katerneeter and yeah, Aimer. So mm -hmm. let's give you guys a little bit of background, like the KH talent that you might see. You guys didn't get enough Roy gameplay last set. We're going to see another one right here from Tempo. Or, no, from, excuse me, from Lightspeed. Sometimes I tell people, like, if you, I mean, you may know who you want, right? But if you like Little Mac and you like speed and you like damage within close range, uh, Roy, pretty good pick if you like how Little Mac, you know, moves and speed here. But sometimes, hey man, you can make whoever you want. Let nobody tell you anything different. I mean, with 57% unanswered, what's not to like with this character? Tempo already off to a fast start. Going with a few grounded options that... Oh, that shield was so small. Oh my goodness, that... As you said right there, that was Skittle-sized. One more hit might have done it. Why is there watching out his landing kick? He's getting really trounced. And unless they can be really difficult to deal with Little Max, uh ground game, because he has one of the fastest ground games in the game, uh, that's kind of the, like the blessing of the character with the curse. He's got no aerial game, no air recovery. Mm -hmm. Terror on the ground, but definitely not a threat in the air. So yeah. for Lightspeed, it should be up to him to see, like, okay, get a grab or get a punish here and send him in the air. Yeah. He manages to two-frame the down smash, and as one-dimensional as some people say the character is, you do have to fear him whenever you're playing grounded neutral. Oh, he's had the threshold where KO Punch will actually kill, and unfortunately, if you do get caught in the middle of a move and KO Punch is literally active, you will not take it away. You're gonna have to, like, it's really, really weird. Oh, he really got him on the startup. Wow. I know you can uh, sort of deplete the timer on the KO punch with a bit of damage, but even the initial hits there. Ooh, he's able to tank. He's got a, he's got a jump save, though. A couple more pummels send him off stage. Yeah. Nice, Roy Bear. Yep, that jab in the back air confirmed from Lightspeed. He's going to finally seal off the first stock, but a lot of work to do still. Oh. He had the right option, go for falling up air, right, and then go for conversion off that, but he did not follow up, and he kind of gave Tempo the key cells of the percentage there. Yeah, Lightspeed perhaps employing a few of the same tactics as we saw from Etho last set. Going for these down tilt tech chases. It's kind of an even man's game, right? Like, Roy gets one edge hard, mm -hmm. but unfortunately, if he just loses it like that, right, like, Tempo will have the stock over him. Of course, even Rapid Jab kills with this character. It has so much kill potential on the ground. He's going to punch. He's going to watch himself on the ledge here. The one thing why he's able to two-frame him on the ledge also is not... Oh, that's it. Yeah. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. There you go. Even managed to land it out of the setup and tempo with a convincing game one against Lightspeed. Just held his ground, which you have to do with this character, and didn't let the outrange from Little Mac or from Roy, rather, fool him. He just yeah. went in and played his game. Well, that's the thing about Roy, too. Like I mentioned earlier, even in the last matchup, but like Roy, even though he has the power with the sword, the range isn't the greatest, too. So he has nothing to really outrange Little Mac except the sword itself, and it's kind of close. Uh, so he, he is cutting it close by going Roy. Mm -hmm. One thing to note, too, against Little Mac, while he was able to two-frame him there with the down smash, is because his up B causes her box to stick out because he has his hand out there. Right. And down smash does have armor. Actually, a lot of uh, Max smash attacks, and even just jabs in general, are like tilts have armor. So you yeah. kind of have to watch out. Every single one of his smash attacks, in yeah. fact. The character like did receive some kind of buff, but like compared to the last game, but honestly, it just wasn't really enough to have the character mm -hmm. still try to be a formidable threat. But hey, man, sometimes management experience against an opponent is probably the best weapon you can use. Right. I don't think we see... Like for the reasons you mentioned, we don't see too much of this character represented at the top level of play, but in the mid level, especially against people who don't have this matchup down pat, this character can do a lot of damage. Yeah, for sure. He did, I mean, I don't know who's, no, uh, so Lightspeed lost that one. I don't know what tempo banned, but honestly, picking Town and City was not the play here because you do have that little bit of time in between, right, where it becomes a flat stage, like mm -hmm. um, battle, I'm sorry. Like found destination, so you kind of have to like really think about like the stage choices that matters. Nice bowling back air, able to go for a cross up. This is, I was gonna say this might be a forward air to get, but unfortunately he misses it just slightly. So right, there is a bit of a mix up that Little Mac mains can do, whether they want to use their side special or up special to recover. In that case, he just picked the wrong option. He's going, he's overshooting it. See, at that point, right, like I said, sometimes the best edge guard is no edge guard, and we hear a punch come back on stage, but with punish there for trying to the options. Mm -hmm. Basically, we get the one in five. Position your stuff for it. 
look at all the shield pressure from Tempo. He's just making sure his opponent is not able to do yeah. anything. He, at this point, I'm seeing how light speed is, right? He's really scared. He's kind of expecting to blow a lot, but I'm not going to lie. Like, the one thing he kind of have, that's it. Oh, my goodness. Just a jab into KO Punch. The second time he's ended a game with that. And as you said, for that second stock, he just had a timer in his head. And right as that legend vulnerability ran out, got the option he wanted and went straight for the side special. You, you see your opponent flash no longer when you're at the ledge. And not only that, it's important to note that the higher percent you are, the less ledge invincibility you will receive. Right. So, yeah, with Lightspeed being, I think it was like 100 plus, mm -hmm. um, he had a lot less ledge invincibility for sure. Right. But not only that, I think he went for it like while it was still flashing. So it wasn't even a reaction. It was too fast to be a reaction. or yeah. It was probably the best reaction I've ever seen if it was. But I think he just timed it. Yeah. And I wouldn't blame him if he did, honestly. That was kind of quite the play to go for, just timing your opponent at the ledge, right? Because like, we got, we did see Lightspeed kind of just a little bit scared. They are respecting Little Mac. Um, like I said earlier, his aim of the game was to get him off the stage and either grab or I mean, like an up throw if he was going for double edge dance, go for the upward variant, mm -hmm. um, get him in the sky, and then read his landing there. But unfortunately, he just wasn't. Like I said, sometimes the best tool to have an opponent is magic experience. Right. If you have the spacing necessary and you know that, you know, Tempo just threw out an option so he's not going to be able to move for another couple of seconds and then maybe go for a short hop narrow or a fair, but mm -hmm. in that situation when he's standing still, he can buffer something, mm -hmm. then I think you just have to wait and be patient. Hold his shield when he did have it, but if you don't have it, perhaps go for one of the options you mentioned. So I do see Ketchup here. Um, mm -hmm. I actually don't know who he's going to play against, um, but I do see him here too. You we'll have to check the brackets of that one. Once again, if you're just joining us, welcome again to Wednesday Night Fights. Orange County here, the seventh one of the third quarter. You can follow along the bracket at smash.gg slash WNFOC or for the exclamation mark bracket command in chat. It's a bit too late to enter bracket this time, but if you want to head out, go to 120 West 5th Street here in Santa Ana, California. Perhaps join us next week. Who knows? Or maybe